this is how my HR dashboard looks before. And this is how it looks after. How awesome is this? Today, let's discuss five rules to create such amazing dashboards from your data. Let's go. Rule number one is chart design. For example, let's take this chart headcount by job title. I'm going to place it in a blank page here and let's figure out a better way to represent this information. Most of us read information from top down, but in order to understand this chart for every bar that I'm seeing, I need to scan all the way down to read the axis labels to understand how big each value is. That doesn't make much sense. So a better way to represent this chart is to remove the axis and instead use labels. So we'll select the chart and introduce data labels. Another thing that I don't like in Power BI is how it keeps on adding axis titles for every little thing. Here the axis title job title is superfluous. So we can take out that by going to Y axis and turning off the titles. Already our chart looks a lot better. You can apply the same idea when you are designing any of the other charts. For example, headcount by gender here. In my after look, I went with two distinct colors for male and female. This is because the colors by default in Power BI do not offer much of differentiation. Both male and female have in the blue shade family and that doesn't look so great. The second rule is titles. Do not go with the default titles that Power BI adds. For example, here the title is headcount by job title and that is kind of meh. So instead, select the chart, go to format, general and expand the title and write a title. One simple trick to make a better title is to ask a question. So instead of saying headcount by job title, you can say what do our staff do? Now that makes it a better title. You're asking a question and you're answering it through the chart. When setting the title, do not forget the fonts and alignment. I'm not a huge fan of the DIN font Power BI uses by default. So I like to go with something strong like Sego UI Bold and also change the color to something a little bit more distinct. Recently, Power BI introduced a subtitle option. So feel free to play with that as well. For example, here is my title. What do our staff do? And 22 of our staff are in packaging. When writing the titles, you can keep the title static or as Power BI is interactive, if I select something, my values change. So you can also make the titles dynamic. I got a video on the channel that talks about this trick. Check it out if you want to learn more. The third rule is formatting specific charts like XY charts. For example, here I have got qualification versus salary. As you can see, there are many problems with this visual. We can improve that with some simple tricks. So here is a different version of that chart. Let's see the process. So the first thing that I want to do is make sure that the axis doesn't go from one to four, but it goes from zero to five. So we can go here, select Y axis, and instead of leaving auto for minimum and maximum, we can type a value. That automatically expands the chart and brings all the dots into visibility. Let's take out the axis now. Next up is my legend here. The legend is necessary to understand various qualifications we have in the staff, but it kind of also makes it harder to read. So I'm going to select my legend and from top left, I'm going to make it top center and take out the title and adjust my text values. Finally, let's make a better title than qualification salary and qualification ID. That doesn't make any sense. Looks a lot better. The fourth rule is about card visuals. In most dashboards, card visuals are what we see first before going into the detail. So it's a good idea to enhance them. Here are a couple of tricks. Instead of using the regular card, try the new improved card version that is available in Power BI. If you do not see this, you can enable it from file options and settings, options, preview feature and enable the new card visual. As of July 2023, this thing is still in preview, but eventually this becomes a normal visual in the panel here. Let's make a new card visual for our headcount. So we are going to add headcount and you can see that naturally the new card visual is left aligned, making it much more readable. 
let's customize the format of this you can change the shape of this card from a rectangle to a rounded rectangle or something else you can adjust all the individual things here i like to use arial black for my numbers because it's a strong dark font and go with maybe 24 points one of the cool things with the new card visually is you can customize a lot of individual aspects of the card for example you can fill it with a nice color you can adjust the border settings and my favorite of all you can bring in an image into the card so if you enable the image option you can browse for an image and use that alternatively you can also point to an image url that is a result of a measure let's bring in an image let's use this image for our team you can adjust all of the image properties too so for example you can make the image smaller or bigger when you take this idea and get a little bit creative with it you can produce card visuals that look like this and my final rule is about layouts and wireframe for example my original dashboard didn't have any layout or structure around it that's why it kind of looks a bit lame when you apply a clear background and a layout you can elevate your dashboards one really simple way to enhance the look of this is you can just go to format here go to canvas background and instead of the white color change the color to something else instantly the contrast is improved you can quickly focus on the visuals as the background isolates them and makes it much more readable but how do you go from this to the truly next level you can design a background so that you can truly elevate your dashboards for example this particular one i have designed the background so let me quickly walk through the process of creating this background using powerpoint so here is our dashboard without any background make sure that you have laid out everything as you want and then open powerpoint and create a blank presentation then go to insert ribbon and click on screenshot and take the screenshot of your power bi into powerpoint next up select this screenshot and crop it so that you're only looking at the report portion make sure that you're cropping exactly the report and nothing else then resize this report so that it fills up the entire screen the reason why we need a screenshot here is so that we know what we are working with and the sizes of various charts next up select this right click and format picture and from the picture properties here make it 50 percent transparent this will kind of give you a stencil to work against and now let's create a background that we want to use on our report i like to go with gradients so let's draw a big rectangle making sure that the rectangle is as big as your slide and use gradient for that this looks good nice and dark so that everything can contrast well and let's take out the outline from this and this is my background so we are going to push this back and bring our stencil to the fore and now let's draw some shapes around our charts so that we can highlight them you can use rounded rectangle for this and draw these shapes just as big as the visuals and adjust the roundness i'm gonna go with solid fill for these in the same color as our visuals and let's put some shadow inside once you are happy with one of them you can copy paste and adjust the sizes this looks great and then finally add some boxes for these kpis as well if you need help take the screenshot and bring it to the front so you know what you're drawing use the alignment tools to make sure that the spacing and position is consistent finally if you have got a corporate logo bring it to the dashboard and add a small title to the dashboard as well okay so now our layout design is over we can select the image and delete it and you will end up with a canvas background once you are happy with the layout go to file save as and save this as a png file just make sure that you are only saving the first slide and come back to power bi 
go to format settings here go to canvas background and use that background image boom make sure that all these white backgrounds are also gone so select the visuals go to format general effects and turn off the background on this repeat that for all the visuals when you add background images sometimes the contrast may not be good for example here i cannot read the numbers well so adjust the text colors or font colors as needed and when you do it right you can create awesome looking power bi reports like this so here is one with a different background here is the purple color one and the same with green colored one